what is up guys how is everybody doing welcome me back okay i was on vacation okay i took the um holiday but i am back i hope everybody had a great holiday weekend i know y'all had a three day i had about a four day okay i ain't trying to brag no i'm just playing y'all but let's see what's going on in the relationship at this time spirit ancestors and guys it is 9 p.m i am home and already back to work because i love you guys and i thought about you guys the whole entire time time okay let's see spirit ancestors and guys what is going on in the collective relationship at this time spirit ancestors and guys what is going on time is an illusion okay it's at the bottom Mm, tainted love tainted true love okay true love isn't easy but it must be fought for um so there is this energy of a love that was supposed to be it's such a true and pure and just the energy is just amazing it's on point but somewhere along the line, somewhere across the road, somebody tainted this relationship with their actions, okay? Somebody ruined this true love, this magical energy that was between the two of you. And what it did is it caused a heavy energy of somebody that almost wants to give up, right? Give up the fight. Give up fighting for this connection, right? Because it's like they fought, they fight for this connection, this magical, beautiful energy, but then it's like this other person almost intentionally taints this love, and it's sad, okay? But it's almost like spirit really wants you to know that this is true love. This is not going to be an easy road, but you got to fight for this, okay? There's an energy of somebody that, that's realizing that they have to fight for this, okay? We have time is an illusion. Understand the journey with your twin flame abides by no timeline. So there's this energy where it's like somebody almost feels like this was supposed to come together by this time or, it, you know, maybe it comes together and then it's not quite what, you know, you've heard on tarot or that you've heard, um, you know, when somebody said, oh, you guys are coming back together and it's going to be magical again or whatever and it ain't quite what you expected. It's almost this energy of somebody wanting to give up, right? But spirit really wants you to stay strong because there's, it's like, you know, this is a twin flame reading. So you, you've been chosen for this journey because they feel like you are strong enough to make it to the finish line. Okay. But there is an energy and energy is always changing. It could be different in an hour, in two hours, in a week, right? Of somebody just kind of wanting to give up because they, it's like somebody that just feels like they have no fight left in them, right? Like shit. They done got their ear damn bit off type shit. Muhammad Ali, okay? Don't fucking shit. Damn, I can't do it no more. Uh, wow, and I heard float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And what's interesting about that is this energy of, you know, this person has you floating, giving you butterflies. But there's an irony of it, this, all, this relationship also stings like a bee, right? We have inner reservoir of power. You got through the journey you never thought you would. So there is this energy where you will make it, right? Inner reservoir of power. Spirit wants you to tap into that powerful energy that you have, especially if you've feeling, been feeling depressed or down or like not so much yourself lately. You have this deep, deep inner reservoir of power so deep within you that spirit really wants you to tap into because it says you're going to get through this journey that you never thought you would and here it says understand the journey has no a timeline so trust and believe that you are going to make it to that finish line with this person the problem here though with this naughty intentions card is that somebody might not have the best intentions or the best um integrity right now okay somebody might still be playing the fence or being out there doing their own thing not really caring about the other person's feelings or what the other person has going on spirit says careful not to give in to their fire just let yet take it slow uh, because there is an energy where it's like somebody is hoping that this was coming together. It was on this timeline, you know. And that's why when people do personals and they want to know when something is coming together specific times, I don't do that. Because 
spirit has no timeline right we don't have a timeline spirit isn't going to tell you the exact date and i'm not going to sit here and pretend okay if i feel an energy of a season i'll tell you a season but that's about it um but there is this energy of somebody whose intentions still aren't quite pure and an energy of you wanting to give in or you know because this fire and this magical energy is here you want to give it a hundred percent but then once you realize that their intentions aren't pure, it makes you just feel like, damn, what the fuck is this worth even fighting for? I just want to give up on this. But Spirit's like, no, you really got to tap in to that inner reservoir of power. You really got to tap into that powerful side of you. There's also this energy of codependence, okay? And I don't know if it's you or them, um, but Spirit is saying independence is essential. And it says you must first learn to build a life without them. So there is this energy of spirit wanting somebody to strengthen themselves and realize how powerful they can be alone before stepping into this twin flame relationship because if not then you'll end up relying or falling back or into like a low vibration when spirit wants you to stay in this high vibration. It's very important for somebody to uh, find this energy of strength within themselves and independence within themselves and knowing I can you know I have my own place my own car I can pay all my own bills I don't need anybody here I want somebody here um, and this could also be if that's if you already are like that this could be that they want your twin flame to like damn build something for themselves so that they feel some kind of self-worth before coming together it's not going to be a good relationship if one person is pulling all the weight and all the baggage um and the other isn't so there's definitely an energy of two people that spirit is really trying to build up through being apart or through some tumultuous times right to realize we have each other's backs no matter what why are we trying to be against each other when we need to be working together right let's see spirit i don't know what else is going on within this connection at this time spirit ancestors and guides what else is going on within this connection at this time Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Woo, so y'all might not be having sex, okay? This could be frustrating somebody, okay? Somebody could be being frustrated because, like, maybe the lack of sex, okay? Or passion, or between the two of you, or maybe some time has passed between the two of you guys have been able to be intimate. Um... This could be definitely frustrating somebody, whether it be you or the other person. Spirit says, you know, you don't have to be frustrated at this time. Spirit really, and we can get into this conversation later, but I don't, you know, you can listen to what you want to. Masturbation is very important. Okay, it is. It's a, it opens up your chakras. It's a part of self-love and self-healing. Um, and don't let anybody tell you that it's like the devil or, or nothing like that. It's very important that you can um, open up your own chakras. And it's, it's a very, it's a heavy release. And sex is a very powerful energy. So sometimes in order to release and decompress, you release yourself, right? You don't want any other energies absorbing into this energy of release. Um... So Spirit is saying, you know, it's okay to take time out to, to shit, rub one out. It's okay to take time out to pleasure yourself. Don't feel fucking icky or disgusting. You know, it's part of tapping into that inner reservoir of power within you. Yeah, see, because whoever this person is, they're definitely in it for the long haul with you. Your love interest may be in it for the long haul and willing to go through it all with you. Enjoy this journey. So there is definitely somebody here that is willing to go the long haul with you. Uh, they're willing to go through it all with you. And I feel like it's almost like you're the same because there's this energy of somebody that has just fought so much for this and is just ready to give up almost feeling like this other person isn't like it's almost like you feel like they don't they don't fight for this 
when truly deeply inside this person ha does have this energy of seeing you and them on this path on this long road together forever right I feel like there's definitely a strong intellectual bond between the two of you. So, you know, some of y'all haven't actually um, lost your twin flame virginity. Not a lot of you guys have been intimate. There's somebody out there that hasn't quite been intimate with the twin flame yet. And this could be frustrating them. Okay, because it's like an intellectual affair. You guys get along great. The chemistry is good. Somebody might want to like be like, damn, wanting to take it to that next level. And even if you have already taken it to that next level with this person, there's still this deep like it's like sex don't mean shit to this relationship, to this connection, because this energy is deeper. It's on a more intellectual, mental level than physical. But also it's stress, it's, it, it also pisses and frustrates somebody here because somebody's like wanting to get banged out, okay? Or do some banging. But this isn't for everybody, but there is this energy of somebody being married with kids, okay? Careful not to get entangled with an unhappily married man. Don't allow yourself to be second place. So this could be where somebody could be having an intellectual affair with somebody who is married with children. Um, getting caught up in an entanglement. Somebody could be telling somebody, you know, that they're in it for the long haul, that they're leaving this behind. But somebody's intentions aren't quite pure, okay, right now. Um, there could be an energy where you could be holding back sex from this person because of whatever they have going on. You don't want to be caught up in no relationship or second place to anybody else. There's still an energy that even though somebody might not be having sex with this person because they could be in another relationship or could be playing games, there's still that intellectual and mental bond. So even though like the sex isn't going on, there's still maybe some talking, some chatting back and forth. Um, them, I feel like somebody's really being somebody's shoulder to lean on. But then it's it's bittersweet because it's hurting you still, you know. It's nice for them to come to you as the shoulder to lean on, but they're not yours type energy. But like I said, this, this energy and this chemistry between the two of you guys goes so more, much more deeper than being just sex, 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 right? This is intellectual. This is mental. This is spiritual. This is way deeper than just sex, okay? I feel like if you're holding out on this person, it's definitely really frustrating this person, okay? But they know that you're just standing in your power. You're just not, you're refusing to bring yourself down to a low vibrational energy just to say you fuck with this person especially if they have another relationship kids whatever that they were hiding or that you found out about or that they went back to whatever it is it's like hell no i'm not gonna fuck with you you go fuck over there yeah i could be your friend so there's this energy of also like but somebody don't want to be your friend somebody can't handle just being your friend somebody won't shit it, it's supposed to be sexual it's you know shit they want they want more I feel like somebody has definitely been friend zoned here, okay? I feel like this person really, really wants to be with you, but they're just caught up and trapped in a situation here. And so they still like blow you up. I feel like this person still treats you like as if you're their old lady you're, or old man, you're their person, you know. Almost acts crazy if you were to walk away. But yet they have a whole other something going on over here. Because like I said, this person definitely sees the two of you guys being together for the long haul, for the long road. But it's just like something's in the way here.
dishonesty by lying I ripped us apart so there is an energy of somebody that might have lied about their marital status or you know their relationship status here and because they did that they could have been honest with you from the jump about what they had going on but they weren't and by doing that they did rip this relationship apart because it's almost like you can't um see yourself being intimate with this person especially yeah broken I feel shattered about this situation but we got conversation I want to call and hear your voice so there's definitely this energy of somebody that wants to call you they want to hear your voice I feel like this person still calls you there's still this intellectual mental affair between the two of you guys that love that connection is there but it's almost like somebody has set up boundaries because of how shattered and broken they feel about this situation but spirit wants you to know that this situation isn't over with unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss and this isn't over with so i feel like there is going to be like a call a conversation there are some conversations i don't feel like this is as over as it seems but i feel like there is going to be some kind of delay all right all right that's what i have for you guys if it resonates at all comment below let me know until next time loves peace